Right, here we go. I've got this on. Uh, I'll put it that way so you can see and see them both. Here we go. God bless you, Leeds. Time is almost up. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Are you ready? Are you saved? That is, have you believed on the name of the only begotten Son of God, Jesus Christ, and what he did for us on the cross? Because you need saving. If we say that we have not sinned, we're calling God a liar. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. The Bible says all have sinned and all come short of the glory of God. The Bible says the wages, the payment of sin is death, that means hell, but the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone according to his word, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is available to anybody and everybody that believes you can be saved. Without the Lord Jesus, you'll find yourself in hell utterly consumed with terrors. So that's why we're here, to urge you, to implore you, to get on board the ark of salvation. The ark is the Lord Jesus, because we are looking, Christians around the world, we are expecting and we are looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, the Lord Jesus is coming. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then we which shall alive and remain shall be brought up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, in the rapture. The rapture will take place any moment now. When all Christians will suddenly be caught up into the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, taken into heaven, and then World War III will start. The missiles will come down. It's going to be hell on earth during seven-year apocalypse, great tribulation period, when God will pour out his wrath and his judgments upon an unbelieving, unrepenting world, which, for the most part, hates God. And God is calling all people everywhere in his final moments to return to me. He says, return unto me and I will return unto you, says the Lord. He's knocking on the door of your heart today and he's saying, will you let me come in? Will you take a step of faith, reach out and lay hold of your eternal salvation by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ? I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. But it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believes. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done, you can be saved. All you have to do is turn to the Lord Jesus, repent to the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. The gospel found in 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. How? On that cross, Jesus died for our sins. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried. On the third day he rose again out of that tomb, defeated hell, death and the grave and our sin. Christ died for our sins, he was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day, as it is written. And just by believing this truly in your heart, when you know it's true that Jesus died for you, and you know, you know he rose again from the dead because he's the Son of God, and you call upon him, or confess Jesus as Lord, you will be saved. But Jesus said, except you repent, except you change your mind and believe, then you will all likewise perish in hell. Hell is a place of outer darkness, where they are weeping, where they are wailing, where they are gnashing their teeth where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out. Utterly consumed with terrors in hell. And that's where you'll go if you reject the author of life, the Lord Jesus Christ. Why would you reject the one who is offering you a free gift of everlasting life? Because you're more than flesh and bones. You have an eternal spirit and soul inside you. And there's only one name under heaven given among them whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
the Lord Jesus Christ, he said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He'll go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, Satan, the God of this age, the father of lies, the devil, he comes to steal, kill and destroy. And his job is to distract you away from the Lord Jesus so that you don't believe on Jesus, so that you don't get saved, and so that you end up in hell forever. Think about what I'm saying. Your decision to accept or reject the free gift of God, which is eternal life of Jesus Christ our Lord, will determine if you spend eternity in heaven or in hell. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter what you've done, God is love and he'll accept anybody on one condition and that is that you believe in your heart what the Lord Jesus Christ did for us on that cross. Amen. Except, except you repent, Jesus said, except you change your mind from your unbelief and believe the good news. That's what gospel means, good news, that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Except you repent and believe, you will perish and you'll land in hell. Don't be one of the many who only find out how real hell is when you land there. Jesus Christ is coming. This world is in for a rude, rude awakening. The new world order peace system is about to be implemented. First, the Lord Jesus Christ will come. He will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. The dead in Christ will rise first, and then all believers which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air in the rapture. Don't be left behind. Except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. God doesn't want any to perish, he wants all to be saved. The Bible says God wants all to be saved. The Bible says all can be saved. But there's only one name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. It is Jesus Christ. The Bible says, the Bible says there are many paths in this life that seem right to men, but the ends thereof are of death. There's only one name, and there's only one way for you to escape hell, and that is the Lord Jesus. He, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes so far but by me. The Lord Jesus is coming. He's, gonna, he's not going to touch down on the earth. He's going to descend from the highest heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. And he's going to gather up into heaven in the twinkling of the eye all who have ever believed on him in the rapture. And if you find yourself left behind, you're going to witness things that are going to make your heart faint from terror. Immediately after the rapture, when Jesus takes all believers up into heaven, world war will start, the likes of which this world has not seen before. Look around the world, the stage is set, it's all ready. Jesus Christ is about to come, and if you're not in it, that is, if you haven't believed on him, you're going to be left, left behind to face worldwide famine, worldwide war, death, and evil beasts of the uh, genetic, genetically engineered beasts that they have in... What do you say? Um, I'd just like to do shorter videos, that's all.